this video we're going to take a look at column breaks in Word 2016. Column break is simply a way of telling Word that you want to begin the following text at the top of a new column. It's just like when you do a page break. If you put a page break in it says start the following text on a new page. If you put in a column break you're saying start the following text at the top of a new column. So in order for column breaks to work uh, I need to have columns. So let's go to our layout tab and let's go to columns and let's set it to two columns. Okay. And so let's go to the end of this second paragraph here and let's say that we want the following paragraph to begin up at the top of column two. Okay. Uh, I've got two choices here. Uh, I can try putting the column break at the end of this paragraph or I can try putting it at the beginning of this paragraph and we'll find out in a minute which one of those is best. Let's do the end of this first paragraph here, and uh, let's go to breaks, and let's tell it we want a column break. And um, because we're to the left of the paragraph mark, the paragraph mark got pushed to the top of the next column. And so now I've got a little bit of white space at the top of this column that I probably don't want. So uh, that's not the preferred way to do it. The preferred way to do it is go to the beginning immediately to the left of whatever it is you want to be at the top of that next column. So we're going to go to the left of the word there and we're going to insert a column break and this time it pushes that to the top of the column and remember last time we had a little bit of space here. Uh, we had one line but it was a paragraph mark so we also got a little bit of space um, a little bit of space before or after as well. So it was pushed down a little bit below the word that here. So Go to the beginning of the text that you want to be at the next column and insert your column break there. If you're using older versions of Word and you've got uh, justified text um, and you try putting a, par or a column break here at the end of a paragraph, uh, what it'll do is it will spread out all of this text here all the way across the line and it looks really funny. Uh, they managed to fix that in Word 2016. So you don't have to worry about that in Word 2016. Now, uh, we're going to look at one other thing here. Uh, we're going to scroll down a little ways. Okay, so here's a paragraph that goes almost all the way to the edge of the column. And we're going to do our um, column break the wrong way here. We're going to put column break before the paragraph mark. And so let's go up here and go to breaks. And let's go to column break. And it pushes the paragraph mark up. But the worst thing about that is because this was so close to the end um, you can see a few dots there but you know it doesn't really stand out very much it'd be easy to overlook that uh, although you could probably tell that there's a, a column break there because you know the next text begins at the top of a new column but um, you want to be able to see those formatting uh, marks that word puts in and you can't really see that one very well so let's undo that and let's go to the beginning of the next paragraph and let's do a break and let's do a column break now and it puts us at the beginning of the new column but if we scroll back down here and now instead of seeing a few dots at the beginning of this column break um, marker uh, we see the whole thing so that will happen if you remember to go to the beginning of the paragraph before you put in your column break and that's about it for column breaks in Word 2016